at this right angled triangle ABC. Using this information, can you find the lengths of these two sides? Yes. Say we first want to find the length of this side. It's opposite to this angle and we know the length of the hypotenuse as well. Angle, opposite side, hypotenuse. Does this ring a bell? Correct. We can use the sine functions here. For an angle theta, the value of this function gives us this ratio for a triangle. It is side opposite to angle theta over the hypotenuse. So here we will have sine 30 is equal to opposite side BC over the hypotenuse AC. With this, we can easily find the length of side BC. Now, what about the length of side AB? For this, we can use the cosine trigonometric function. For an angle theta, cos theta is equal to the adjacent side AB over the hypotenuse AC. Solving it further would give us the length of side AB easily. Earlier, we've seen many trigonometric functions and how useful they are. They can be used for measuring the heights of buildings or mountains. Even sound, which travels in the form of waves, can be represented as a combination of sine and cosine waves. Notice that in most cases we've looked at, we know the measure of an angle and a side, and we need to find the measure of another side. But in some situations, we know the ratio of two sides in a triangle and need to find the measure of an angle. One example is where the architects use it to calculate the slope of roofs of bungalows. Let me give you another practical example. Suppose our friend Zeki, who is 2 meters tall, is standing at a distance of 10 meters from a wall, which is 12 meters tall. What would be the angle of elevation from Zeki to the top of the wall? Since Zeki's height is 2 meters and the height of the wall is 12 meters, this length will be 10 meters. Related to these sides, we know the trigonometric tangent function. Tan theta is the ratio opposite over adjacent. Now we know the value of this ratio and we want to find the angle theta. So the situation is reversed now. So sometimes in trigonometry, we need functions in which we put the value of the ratio as an input and get the corresponding values of the angle as an output. What we need here is the measure of the angle theta. Mathematically, it's equal to tan inverse of 1. What are such functions called? That's correct. They are called inverse functions. Don't really focus on what this means. We will have a deeper look in the upcoming sessions. Do subscribe to our channel to get updated when we release our next video.